okay so we are going to understand the process of uploading the manuscript as a preprint to a ssrn lcware journal server what you have to do is firstly come to your classroom okay uh, final submission you look for your name in the second one okay then you click on your name look for the final pdf and open it once you open it you can download the file using this button so it will download the file okay so it has downloaded the entire zip but we need a file so i will click on this pdf and download this pdf next thing what you have to do is you have to log in through my ssrn account and then click on submit paper so once you click on submit paper it will land up on this page you have to click continue first thing you have to do is upload the pdf that you have just downloaded so this is the pdf that you have downloaded it will take some seconds before it takes the entire thing by that time what you can do is you can open that particular pdf in the download folder and copy the title that you need for the paper so once you copy this title go back to the explorer and now what you have to do is click on enter paper title and then paste the title over here click on so sometimes it happens like it goes like this so what you can do is press delete so that it is pasted perfectly and click on save so this is done now we need to add the author so click on my name and then you will see list of authors generally you will not be there because this is the first submission if you have already submitted with me your name will appear so let us search your email address at so maya dot ed now once you click this it will ask for so it will not able to find so what you have to do is add a new author so it will ask firstly your first name so here you can star check the spelling huh? the name P A public name it's same generally username and public name we don't change contact email address should be so you just have to use it twice i just copy pasted it rc id you need to create and insert if you don't have rc id right now i can just skip that step sorry but you don't have permission link so once you come back you should see your name getting added into this but you are the first author so you can move yourself to the top of the list okay, this is the sequence of authorship 1 2 3 my name should be at the last now we need to add two more people so what you have to do is put your email address is just dot cc just dot cc cg at so bad sir in many projects search and uh, next thing is uh, again click on add new author okay so just जस्ट इ okay so now again check your name should appear in the last so just move upwards 
one more author we have to do here yeah put here j dot gosalia g o s a g s a okay so click on search again it will not find this step is one time so next time you don't have to do it we have already added you so j j o s a l i o j dot go send once you do that just copy paste it make sure that you upload update the profile you get an email and then you update that profile okay. so i think this is the correct uh, author sequence one two three four it should be as per the paper once you do that click on save so you got everything now click on this paper date today's date you put keep everything same this is working progress manuscript it's not a book and it has not case study of any scientific thing so next step is you have to copy the abstract keywords okay so your abstract aapke paper mein shuruaat mein hoga so i just open your paper this is the abstract so i just copy this So now you paste it like this what will happen is it will have this spacing so you have to correct the spacing it will have the same spacing as of the original paper so you just have to do this and then you need a keyword so again i will open the paper and i will copy all the keywords that you have put up over here go back to the paper we need to paste them as plain text jel code typically you can put i19 which is interdisciplinary others but if you know exact specific thing you can put on this question mark and find out your jel code and put that then in subject matter what you can do is look for the journal that best best suits your title so this is about a jacket so you can click on applied science maybe it's a engineering paper so engineering research network maybe subject matter and then i think it can fit into electrical engineering and then it can fit into control or maybe it's a system electronics engineering and then click okay so once you do that what you have to do let me just move myself to click on submit to ssrn it will initiate the process so you will see this ring rotating around and then it will ask you some question it is saving individually so now again you will see this ring you should see all these complete 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 steps and then i i am the corresponding author so i will agree to this and say submit so this is the id that you got its dui will be seen on the page so that's the entire process and once you open this particular id let me just put it if you try to open this web page now you should land up on your original page and this is your published manuscript currently it is showing uh, under review by ssrn once you get acceptance this page will not be there so that's the complete procedure